Okay, so we talked about it on last week's podcast, and then someone made our dreams can't come true and gave us the uh, sent us the pop up hot dog toaster, the uh, old fashioned, fashioned pop up hot dog toaster. A perfect hot dog every time. Every time. Every time. Anyone who puts their condiments in a bowl, I don't want to hang out with. And them. you can tell it's old fashioned because it makes you into black and white. I'm like Shia LaBeouf with mustard in a bowl, the same way that he is with the Wii. I see that, I'm leaving. So, uh, as you can see here, there's the, the two slots for the buns. And there's two, the two. This actually comes out, a little trap for hot dogs. Oh, it's like my mouth. <laughs> exactly. Uh, except this will come out of this trap. And then a little tray at the bottom to clean out your... My hot dog trap also has an external part. It's got a little trap on the bottom also. Uh-huh. Trap on the bottom for release. So, so we, we have some standard Nathan's hot dogs, beef franks, eight skinless, sell by date is not is beyond today, which is good. Great, perfect. The, the market that I bought them from doesn't always make good with that stuff. So I, I'll get some buns. Out. Get some buns. You got some old fashioned buns. Some not country style, not Wonder Bread buns. I'm gonna use my key to open up these hot dogs. Yeah. Okay. Which is good for both my key and the hot dogs. I'm sure. All right. There we go. So I gotta open these up, right? It looks like the whole yeah, shape, is shaped yeah. Up. I think you're right. Open it on up. Yeah, I'm gonna toast the insides. Oh, that that's a tight fit. I'm not gonna lie. Well, yeah, it's, it seems like it's very specific. Did it come with like larger? <laughs> no, this is all. This is the so whole did, thing. It didn't come also, with a larger cage for like larger size hot dogs. Okay, rattles around a little My bit in there. My toaster does that too. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Set it to dark. I'm going to crank it up. Turn it up to five. That'll probably burn the buns. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's find out. There's only one way to find out. What? Okay, already seeing a problem here with the buns not wanting to go down. Having to push the buns down, that's not a good sign. But it did come with this for extracting great, hot great, dogs. Great. 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 Are they done? I smell something burning. Are they ready? That's not a smell I like. It's new... Hey, yeah. Why does it smell like burning plastic? Did you not? Is there something you didn't peel off? Is there some kind of? No, that's it was just because it's new. <laughs> Intr- introduction. Do not offer. Okay. Unplug when not in use. I don't like this. Oh God. <laughs> it's just because it's new. Yeah. Oh man, I got a face full of it. Whatever it is, bring my nostrils. We're gonna burn this place down. It's good. Oh. That's what hot dogs smell like. No. That's uh. Oh, wait, wait, should, should we? Do we need to, should we have washed this out first? Is that? Is there anything in there about that? I don't know. I, I keep looking at these pages, <laughs> but not actually reading them. Uh, lift the toaster by the handles only. Use only standard size. Clean outer surface with a soft, damp cloth. So use soapy water. Blah, blah, blah. Do not operate toaster without at least one hot dog and/or bun in place. Do not okay. use, do not use frozen better. hot dogs. I think it's gone. Um. Let's see. Do not immerse uh, the hot dog toaster cord or plug in water or any other liquid. Uh, do, do, do. Oh. do not place product on or near fire. Uh, not designed for professional use. <sighs> this product is not designed for professional use or for any other use. What? <laughs> so I think it's like so a novelty. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe we're not actually supposed to make hot dogs with it. Uh, it's hot. It's heating up. Okay, here we go. During the first few times used, you may notice a slight odor, as with most new cooking appliances. Oh, okay. This is normal. All right. Then I feel better about the inability to smell anymore from the it's like you've been hot using Zycam. fumes. Oh. Uh, tear up. Yes, yeah, so don't get a face full of fun. Don't, yeah. Hot tip. Pro tip. Don't put your face directly over the hot dog toaster. Vinny's experiencing that firsthand. All right now, it's starting to smell like yeah, hot dogs. Like hot dogs. Oh, S- smoke it up. That's not. This is normal. This is all normal. This is what it's supposed to do, right? I don't know anymore. Oh man. Good thing we're on this nice wood table. <laughs> this is a safe surface. Yeah. Whatever, man. Hot dogs cooking is gonna make a. It's going to smoke up and sizzle. Smoking smokies. Oh, oh, hot dog time. Really? Yep. That can't be right. It it went, and we put it at five, too. All right, so the outer edges of the bun are 
it's hot, little, but the other sides little, are still a little cold. A little cold. Here you go. Oh yeah. Lay it on me, go, buddy. Oh, oh can't. you won't got let it. go. Won't let go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna throw a little little condiments on it. Make it official like some generic brand mustard. Mm. Oh, oh God! It's shot all over the place. <laughs> Premature ketchup. <laughs> and then you can't get any to come out. That's plenty. All right, I'll take some of that too. Don't wait for me, Jeff. Dig in. Okay, here. And they smell a little bit like plastic. This will smell a lot like hot dogs. Yeah, that is a hot dog. Yeah. Hot dogs are warm. Yeah, the bun could be a little more consistently warm. Yeah. But that's our fault for having cold buns. That's true, I did put the buns in the fridge. Yeah. You don't refrigerate your buns. I don't. The hot dogs. Let's put more in. Yeah, we're going to put in more hot dogs. So that's. There you go. HDT 600 gets the giant Bob seal of approval. Make it hot dogs. Vinny, you want one? All right. We'll uh we'll get some more going and get you some hot dogs. We got eight. Then we're gonna eat eight hot dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs>